Google, we all use it. Some of us use it to find recipes, find tutorials on YouTube and help them in their everyday lives. Others use it for, do we say, less savoury things like um, big booty bitches, OnlyFans, or just like showing their genitals to each other online. Me being a good Christian boy, pat on the back, who was defo, not molested in any way, shape or form, by Father Matthew. Is that all right, sir? I use it for simple pleasures. YouTube, Twitter, buy my favourite hentais. I've, I mean, anime, anime series. <coughs> However you use it, we can't all deny Google might be the worst thing to ever have happened to humanity in some regards. In others, it helps us with our everyday lives, learning, progressing, developing our hentai image. Google can be used for good if it wasn't run by such a secret group of mercenary assassins whose real intentions and desires for a free search software available to all is still a little bit of a mystery. They are basically the number one stalkers, if you think about it, of the world. Everyone knows it. They manage to stalk every bit of our lives and somehow get away with it for years as we just don't care, I guess. They know more about me than I know about myself. They know my favourite foods, what we buy online, what social medias we use and what we message each other. They even know our favourite types of corn hub, if, uh, if you understand my uh, reference. That's right, Pedo P. Google manages to stalk us and we know about it and we just are like, cool, man. It's not an issue, bro. You you stalk me all you want. Just let me know if you see anything you like. Google has turned 25 years old this week. Just like the ads being relevant to the things you searched five seconds ago, me, Mr. Relevant Video, once a week thought it's appropriate for me to go over some of the dodgiest things Google has found itself wrapped in. Stay tuned, baby. But before we start, though, just let me know what is the weirdest thing on this list that generally makes you slightly nervous also if you do enjoy it at any point in time maybe drop us a, a cheeky like maybe go on it just helps it you know push it out there so other people who are stalked by google daily can see this cool okay brilliant and if you don't like it drop a dislike i will not cry google by 25 let's have a look at it 100 zeros and also the inspiration for our name well i'm not sure if they've learned how to spell google over 25 years but there's only two zeros so a good one the hundredth trillion digit of pi which a google researcher discovered 2020 they're trying to make out like it was meant to be it was fate look at this even the hundredth trillion digit of pi is a zero shut the fuck up that's just luck no one actually cares about your hundredth trillion let's be honest they could just make it up they could say the hundred look i'm gonna say it, the 200th trillion number is a bloody 69 yeah <laughs> got him 70 billion then 12 billion visual searches whatever the fuck that is 8.5 million viewers of L india's moon landings this is dog shit who cares about all this stuff google is the most boring company in the world instead let's look at the way 10 ways google does evil <laughs> monopolistic practices i don't know what that word means 97 percent of the internet is estimated to go through google what the hell that's too much power in bill's fingertips and he knows it he's crazy he's lost it so basically yeah yeah i do know about this so if you say something bad about google some this video is not even going to get shown in the uh, no one's going to see this crushing basically they're just going to block it it'll be too popular like right take it down take it down if you say anything bad about google which I'm not. I'm just reading what people are saying that's bad. I actually think Google's all right. That was a lie. So they just hide critical pieces on Google. So they'll just block it. If you say anything, they block it. That's like the opposite of freedom of speech, isn't it? Even I know that. So they got rid of scholars who disagreed with them. Yeah, so basically, if you're, if you're a knowledgeable man and you say Google's shite, they will just take your money away and get you off the market. That's not a surprise. Censoring speech. So they're meant to be, you know, all about Google's good. It, it promotes free speed and freedom of speech. Uh, look at this. We are amazing but they just block it anyway if you say anything bad they don't like it google banned social networking site gab from its app store for hate speech so you know it was just about the first amendment see that's the problem with businesses like this these are the ones who decide what you can and can't say why does bill get to say what i can do on the internet that doesn't make any sense and don't get me wrong hate speech equals bad but like at the end of the day it's their opinion if you don't like something i don't really think you're in the uh, position to tell them they can't do it especially google like what is google it's just a, a business bill gates made in his bloody shed when he was 20 no one's voted for it no one's got them in power to say you guys decide what goes on because that just doesn't happen oh 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 no google's avoid paying billions in taxes what? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. is that a surprise no way what are you sure? Also, look at the side here. 10 ways to get a job as a CIA spy. I'm so tempted to click it, but I just can't. Stay away. Oh, 
what? No. So yeah, they didn't pay. Settle back taxes, 300 million. Have you ever like accidentally not paid a tax and you know, you get a letter saying they're going to come kick your house down with the FBI and bring a tank to your front door unless you give them the 250 squid roonies that you owe them? Well, Google owned 303 million of them bad boys. They did sweet FA. Also, Google is the owner of YouTube, which I didn't actually know. So this, this video is just going to flop. I'm not sure why I'm carrying on. But we, we started this bitch, so we're going to carry on, baby. We're going to carry on. So they use the advertisement revenue to kick money back to the channel owners and obviously smaller channels and sites with video components that depend on the income to survive. This means that they get shut down. A bow, 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 bow. Small channels like me, little little fish in the sea. Ain't no shark yet, but watch this space. So I'm going to be the uh, Mr. Beast 2.0, but actually does good videos and doesn't just make people sit in a room for hours to get a 500k. Instead of giving you the money, you're going to give me the money. What an idea. cross born and medication sales are illegal. So if you bring drugs outside the US into the US, you are illegal. So if you do this via the Canada's, you will be in tr big troubles. Oh my God. They illegally acquired British medical records. Yeah, see, this is weird as well. DeepMind, all this AI stuff is like proper fucking me in the uh, in the RAA. You know what I mean? No, no, I do not. They were given health records of 1.6 million British people without their content. How did they get them? How did they do that? That's not something you can just walk into a room and find. Like, how? What? What made them get that? Uh, so the DeepMind, the AI, see, it's already lost control. The AI did it. Oh my god, this is just the start. See, they've taken over. They're already taking over. They're gonna bloody take us. Oh my god, mummy. I'm scared. Taking over is like Terminator 2 and Terminator 1 and Terminator 3 and Terminator 4 and oh no. Street View? What the hell is this? This is like one of them cars that goes round and does Google Maps. Like imagine driving one of them you'd feel like such a spaz. I mean, you'd be embarrassed as fuck. Oh, coffee, that's Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, France find him 100 Gs. That's probably like what Bill Gates wipes his bum cheeks with, 100 grand. Nearly triggering an actual war. Really? Google accidentally placed the disputed border several miles into Costa Rica territory on Google Maps and led his troops into Costa Rica, sparking a major international incident. Fuck, Bill Gates, you messed up, son. How the fuck you do that? Imagine that. You went to war because Bill Gates accidentally drew the line too far to the right on Google Maps. Imagine if shit went peak tong. Google li illegally restricted clients' websites from displaying their own specific ads. So basically, Google said what ads would be on these things and this term fake news why do we all use it now one of the worst president well i think it was any quite good president actually i think compared to sleepy joe i think he was but we all use fake news now and google was basically just allowing it on their on their service like facebook twitter all that good stuff that's a good thing about twitter now you get them little notes don't you telling you whether it's true or false google is stalking you we all know as i said no one cares mate google is evil knievels they are evil dr edward project dragonfly reportedly aimed to restrict access to content that would that is not in favour of Xi Jinping's communist party. I didn't know they were communists. Yeah, so basically they're the supporting Xi Jinping. It's because I, I guarantee the Chinese give them a shite ton of money. Let's explore the most searched things in the US. YouTube, Amazon, Facebook. This is boring. Walmart, Yahoo. Who uses Yahoo? 37 million people do, apparently. 37 million people. Calculator. Costco. Indeed. A lot of unemployed. Chat GPT. That's a good... Domino's. Uh, that's what I'm after. Dom. Greatness from Domino's. Roblox. There's the real winner there, bad boy. You know, there's not been any corn yet, which I think is a lie. They must have taken that out. I can guarantee people are searching that more than Zoom or Night or Yankees or Starbucks. Planet Fitness. Ooh. Globally, WhatsApp's there, you know what I mean? It's all the usual shite. As you can see, Google are the biggest criminals in the world and they get away with it for years and years and years and they always have and they always will. What do you guys think? I say we send the uh, every single person who works for Google, G O O G L E 25 to prison. Send them to Alcatraz, we'll call it Google Island. They can all just live there. They can have their own search engine. What do you guys think, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Let me know what you thought of uh, the worst Google things ever searched. Let me know what you thought of the Google's dodgiest moments. I think they are just criminals, aren't they? Criminals hiding behind a computer. A bit like me, really, if you think about it. I'm a criminal hiding behind a microphone on a computer. Maybe? I don't know.